Hey guys, Debbie O'Mad here. So you might m notice somebody is missing. <laughs> Janelle's not feeling good today, so she's not going to be joining us on the video. She plans to be back next week, though, okay? She's laying down today. Um, so today's update, I'll give you hers first. First of all, I'm Debbie from OMAD, uh, with OMAD, doing OMAD. <laughs> I've been doing OMAD for about a year. I'm down 70 pounds um, in that year's time and feeling fantastic. Um, and my daughter, Janelle, who was on my last two videos, decided to join me in fasting because she had gained a little bit more weight than she was comfortable with with summer coming and it also bothered her that her mommy was as, as uh, weighed the same as her <laughs> so and the reason that bothered her you guys is because her entire life I've been heavy so it's it's kind of a shock to her system right but long story short last week if you watched um, I believe I was at 139 and she was at 140 something like that but this week she's at 139 so she's down she was at 141 that's what it was so she's down two pounds because she's at 139 for for me oh my gosh it's been a crazy week because I kind of overindulged a little bit um last um Sunday Monday Tuesday ish um with the carbs and some fast food and some no-no stuff and I weighed myself on Wednesday, you guys, I was at 143. Ah! <laughs> that scared me. So I went right into a 48. Yes, I did. And I'm happy to report that today I'm at 140. So I'm, I'm not in the 30s yet like I wanted to be. But I did drop those three pounds that I gained in a matter of days. But, you know, most of that, I'm sure, is just water weight and eating garbage which I try not to do it very often. Um, so starting this week at 140, and she's starting the week at 139. But like I said, she's not feeling so good today. Um, so she's laying down, and I like to do these videos kind of early in the day just to, so that they're done and, and published because they take so long to upload. Um, so that's why she's not joining today. But as I said, she's doing good. She's down to 139, so she's staying on track, and she's doing fine. Um, she's not losing as fast as she had wanted, but um, I, I did tell her that, you know, you're not going to lose that much every day just because you don't have that much to lose to begin with, right? So she's finding that out. But she is doing good. She's really cut back on the sugar and carbs, and she's really paying attention to what she's eating, and she's eating healthier. So all of those things are phenomenal, and I'm really, really proud of her. As for me, um, this week, like I said, I wasn't a good girl, and I kind of went off the wagon a little bit. Um, but I got back on track on um, Wednesday afternoon and um, did a 48. Actually, it was 40. It was 49 and a half, if I remember correctly. And then I had a small meal, and then jumped right back into a 24. Um, and and I'm gonna have to do, I think, a couple 48s this week. Um, just to get into those 30s, goodness, this is harder than I expected it to be. Um, I think, too, because I've been doing this for a year, you would think it would just be habit. But at the same time, I think I'm, I'm getting, I have my days where it's like, I don't want to fast anymore. <laughs> you know, I, I don't want to watch what I'm eating. I just want to eat. And, and I think we all go through that. We have our good days, our bad days, our good weeks, our bad weeks. And I would have to say that for the majority of this past week, it was not a good week. I, you know, I had this renewed um, motivation wanting to beat my daughter to, to 130 pounds, which I still plan on doing. But I'm not working out as much as I should. And um, like I said, I did overindulge early in the week this week. So today is Sunday, and it's the beginning of a new week, and I'm going to um, try and stay as close to on track as I can, you guys. I, I guess I, and I was telling her, because she was like, Mom, I can't believe you cheated, and, and, you know, you gained weight. What's going on with you? Where's your motivation? And, and as I told her, I think that, I guess I thought that by this point in the game, a year in, that I would be at maintenance level, and that I wouldn't have to fast every day or be so 
you know, strict with everything, that I could, I'd be at maintenance level where I could just fast a couple days out of the week and I'd be okay. But I'm not there yet, and it's frustrating. It's really frustrating. I just want to be at maintenance level. So I think that, that kind of got into my head and, and kind of messed me up last week. But, like I said, I'm back on track and going to uh, stick to 48s and OMADs and, you know, watching what I eat and staying away from fast food and, you know, and no carbs or very little carbs. And I did, I actually had a Pepsi last week, too. Yeah, I know, I haven't done that in a long time, huh? Um, so that all that sugar, ah, that knocked me out of ketosis for sure. <laughs> but this morning I am in ketosis and I'm back on track, so it's all good. It's all good. How did you guys do? Um, before I get too much further into this, I just want to mention, please, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Janelle will be back with me next week, and um, so, so we can see her progress. And, of course, I'll be here again next week. But go ahead and subscribe um, so that you're notified when we do put a new video. And like the video, please. You know, thumbs up, because that helps us a great deal. Okay, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to keep this one kind of short and sweet this week. Um, it's really nice out today. It's like 70 degrees, but it's really windy, so I don't know how the sound is, because it's very, very windy out here. I'm in the gazebo out front, so it blocks some of the wind, but I'm sure you can still hear it behind me <laughs> and see the trees moving, so yeah, it's windy. But, so my lesson this week is, you know... <laughs> We got to find that inner motivation. So we come back to what is our why, right? What is our why? Um, what? Why did we start this in, to, to begin with? For me, a year ago, it was to stay alive. My blood pressure was in the stroke zone, and they they told the doctor told me that if I didn't get my act together, I wouldn't be here much longer. So that was enough to shake me up and get me motivated, and and it did. I mean, 70 pounds in a year—that's not too shabby, okay? So I'm proud of that, and I am proud of that. But for those of us that have been doing it a long time, you know, which a lot of you have, because I know a lot of you have been following me from the beginning, um, you, I'm sure you know what I mean, that it, it, you just have those weeks where it's just like, <sighs> I want to eat. I just want to eat. That's all. And that's kind of where I was last week. It, it, and. I woke up. I woke up when I got on that scale and saw that I had gained four pounds or three pounds, whatever it was. I was just like, oh my goodness, that didn't take long. <laughs> so I got back on the, on the fasting wagon, so to speak, and did a 48. Um, and, and I did. I, I dropped those, so I'm back down to 140, which is great. But not where I want to be. I want to be at 130. So I gotta work harder to get there, and I'm going to. See, here comes that wind. <laughs> um, but so hopefully next week I have better news to report. Like I said, Janelle's doing great. She's down to 139, and I'm at 140 today. So we're still just a pound off um, difference from each other, just like last week. But mine went up and down. <laughs> so I went up a lot and then came back down this week. So not a great week. I should have been like at 137 by now, 136, but. Shoulda, woulda, coulda, didn't. So there's that. <laughs> um, so how, how'd you guys do? Post below. Let me know how you guys are doing. What how this week went for you? If you've been doing it for a long time, do you find that you're getting frustrated or that you're having a harder time staying motivated? Um, like I said, I mean, I I can tell such a difference in my body that you know I've lost 70 pounds. That, you know, sitting in church, for example, I can cross my legs and not worry about hurting anybody or encroaching on anybody. Um, and I just feel smaller as, as, a, as a human being, smaller. Um, and I, like I said, I can do stuff now that, that was much harder for me to do when I was heavier. Tying my shoes, crossing my legs, bending to pick something up. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't make me get winded. Yesterday we went for a hike. Um, we walked two miles. They say two miles, but nobody was really measuring it. And if you ask me, it was closer to three. But we didn't measure it, so we're all guesstimating. But it was me and Janelle and, and Jacob. And we went um, just on this walking path, trail down here and um, saw some rabbits. And my grandson saw a snake, and he's looking for lizards. But it was fun. It was a beautiful day yesterday. It wasn't near as windy as it is today. 
So we got some exercise in, which was good, and we're going to try and do that more often now that the weather is getting nicer. And I did do the hot tub last night, um, which I haven't done in a while. So I did do that last night because my back was kind of killing me. I, I wore the wrong shoes walking. Yeah, it happens. But um, I, I remembered how much I missed doing the hot tub in the pool. I didn't do the pool. The pool was ice cold. Oh, my God, it was so cold. So I didn't do that, but I did do the hot tub. But I'm excited about getting back to the swimming part of it and doing my exercises in the pool. I like exercising in the pool because it's no impact. Um, and I'm always worried about hurting myself because, you know, we're older, and we get when we get hurt, it takes that much longer to heal than it did when we were in our 20s and 30s, right? So I'm very conscious of that, um, which is, again, why I prefer to exercise in the water because it's just no impact, and I'm not as worried about getting hurt. But that's coming soon. Hopefully in the next month, month and a half or so, I'll be able to do that again. So cross my fingers that it doesn't take quite that long, but it might. Um, so hopefully that will help, help get me into the 30s as well and being more disciplined this week. So again, how did you guys do? If you um, comment below, but also if you haven't already joined us on our Facebook group, it's called Debbie Omad. We will do this together. That that's a fabulous group of people, um, very supportive, and probably one of the only, if not the only, <laughs> Facebook group that has no negativity, none. It's all positive. It's all supportive. It's all helpful. So if you're looking for a positive group to join to help you on your weight loss journey pop over there to Facebook again it's Debbie Omad we will do this together and join us um, and you share your story and we've got lots of people there to help support you to give you accountability and also to answer any questions if you have any feel free and also you can post below here always anytime post below and I, I answer everything that's on um, the YouTube channel so if you comment I will respond if you ask a question okay and if you have anything you want me to talk about on these videos feel free feel free to suggest it because I want to know what you guys want to know about right so let me know um, so I'm, I really wasn't gonna do a stand-up because Janelle's not here but I will real quick what the hell it's not like there's any change because obviously I didn't lose anything from last week but you can see I mean I've got the hourglass kind of go in there and you can see okay so this is me today <laughs> and hopefully next week I will be uh, in in the 30 130s <laughs> let's hope all right short and sweet today hope you guys have a great week again tell me what your journey is and how you're doing and how you did this week and what's your way in this week um, let's see how everybody else is doing and uh Hey, if you've been doing this as long, right along with me for this past year, what's keeping you motivated? What's helping you to get to your goal weight? Give me some pointers. I could use some tips on this one. Trust me. I don't know why my my uh, endurance seems to be lacking lately. I just don't seem to be as gung ho as I was. I, I don't know. I'm not sure. I guess we all go through our moods, right? So today, this past week has been mine. <laughs> But we'll see what this week brings. Okay? Love you guys. Remember, we are in this together. We will do this together. Talk to you next week. Bye.